हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माय ट्विटर आप सबका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपके अपने चैनल माय ट्विटर पर दोस्तों आर न्यू टू माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस द न्यू अपडेट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आवर टुडेज टॉपिक हाउ टू एमिट एन पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम सरफेस इन माया ऑल राइट सो बिफोर बिगिनिंग विथ आवर टॉपिक मेक श्योर की वी आर इन टू आवर एफ एक्स सेट मेनू एंड वी विल बी डूइंग emit from object instead of create emitter okay so for that what i'll do is i'll just take the plane and uh, i'll just draw the plane all right i'll just make this grid also off fine so now i'll get into n particles and uh, i'll just click on emit from an object and uh, i'll just get into the option that is settings so before doing or applying anything make sure we always do resettings before applying any of the value so make sure ki we do edit and reset settings and after that we can see here the emitter type is omni currently and uh, as per our topic it has to be surface but before that i'll definitely come to that part but before that what i'll do here is i'll just show you how it will work with the omni and direction all right so i just go and click on create so as soon as i click on create we can see in our outliner window the emitter is inside this plane okay so i'll just make this also on where i can see the shaders uh, i mean outline wire that is wireframe so just rewind and play so what we can see right now here is the particles are coming from the vertices or from the vertex okay this is what happens when you apply it by default if i'll get into the attribute editor or you can press control a i'll just move on to emitter and i am into emitter only and uh, get into emitter type so as we we have seen already we have applied omni so we can see that omni and uh, if we wish to increase the rate particle per second we can increase that also but in this case i'm not going to do anything i'm just 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 going to change from omni to directional i'll just click on directional say rewind and play so now we can see here there is some directional thing but the thing is that it is not applying the reason behind this is currently this solver gravity is active so what i'll do here is i'll just make it ignore in dynamic properties now if i'll say rewind and play so we can actually make it out the particles are moving in x axis we can change the direction okay so i can get into emitter and uh, just come down and uh, we have the options available direction x so i'll just make this as 0 and i'll just make this as y as 1 so we can make it out it is going in a y direction and if in case if i require some spreading to be happening so there is some spreading also working on it if you wish to have like the speed to be more so we can have speed also in that case okay so this is how this emitter works or i'll say direction works okay so next what we have is the surface this is what is our requirement so i'll just go for the surface okay so this is getting applied and we can make it out this surface the particles are coming from the surface right whatever amount you put it that much amount of particles will be generated from the surface so now there is more number of particles that is 1000 per second it is generating all right so i'll just move it back to uh, 100 and this time what i'll do here is this is how it is coming up right 
So now what we have is I'm into the, uh, like a uh, polyplane. So what I'll do here is I'll get into polyplane and just increase the width and height like this. And what I'll do here is I'll say like I'll right click and uh, not in this case. So like this right click and go for vertex. Press B so that we can see the softness. So I'm doing this thing purposely because the surface is at one particular angle now. All right. So I'll just come out of this object mode. Now you may see next time this particle is moving in X direction. It won't be moving in a Y direction. So this. This is what happens when we choose surfaces. Okay. So if it is sphere, it will be uh, like uh, emitting in all the directions since the sphere is round. Right. So now what I'll do here is we have few more options, which is uh, in emitter. I'll just show you that also. So this is their basic emitter. We have tangent speed and normal speed option also available. Okay. I'm just increasing the normal speed, making it at three. Say rewind and play. So what we can see the speed has been increased, right? As such, no changes at all. But but if I'll make the tangent speed, like I'll make it at say for an example two, it will go in somewhat like this. This will go in a haywire direction. Just make this zero. Look at this if I increase it more. So this is basically what happens when we use tangent speed. Okay. This is how the particles are going to emit from the surface. Okay. So now next is I'll just reset it once and I'll show you one more thing which is very interesting. Again, I'll take a help of uh, plane only. And uh, I'll just click and go for this polyplane. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'll be majorly focusing it on, I'll say, emit from an object. And uh, this time, I'll be focusing it on, on this values, texture emission. Okay. So now what if I render this out, what we can see here is something like this, right? So the particles are getting down, uh, it's going down. I'll just make it ignore solver gravity. So now it's coming up and uh, simultaneously what I'll do here is I'll make the conserve value zero. So every particles will be forming on top of the surface, right? Okay, so now next again go back to emitter and I'll just increase the number of uh, like particles. I'll just make it scale rate by object size. So what will happen? It will fulfill the whole object with the particles. Uh, okay, now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add material into this. Now why I'm adding a material because what I want is as per the material this texture as per the texture the emission should happen. So for that purpose what I'll do here is I'll get into new material. I'll go for Lambert and instead of color as I have, as I have already mentioned I'm going to take material. So I'm just going for the checkers click on the checkers Press 6 as a shortcut key or you can just press on this icon so we can see the textures on top of it. So now what we can see here is the particles are getting generated. Okay. But it is everywhere. It is not as per the black or as per the white color or it is not the way I want it actually. So for that what I'll do here is I'll uh, get into emitter one more time and just go down 
here we have an option available texture rate so until and unless we don't apply any kind of text, uh, texture on this texture rate it won't be applicable so for that what i'll do here is i'll just go and open this hyper shade and what i'll do here is i'll simply drag and drop this lambert so i'll just drag and drop it on the particles go here select the particles and uh, drag and drop this material over the texture rate okay so now if we try i think still it won't be applicable yes it is not applicable we need to enable this enable texture rate so now still not done i'll just 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 by mistakely i had applied along with the lambert but it should be along with the texture like like this so i need to apply this texture over this so i'll just drag and drop it and just apply on this okay and now if we'll see rewind and play so we can see exactly the white area is covered with the particles not the black one now if we wish the particles to be emitted from the dark area so we need to click on this icon and just play so now what we can see here is only the black area is emitting those particles now what we can see here is the particles are getting emitted no doubt but it is staying in that position because the conserve value is zero so i'll get into particle shape and i'll make this into dynamic properties and i'll just increase the value so now if you see here you can actually see the particles will be emitted from that position okay so this is how it will come up now very nicely and if we wish to change the color of the texture no doubt we can do that also we have this shading options available and in that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the color that's it so we can actually make it out the particles coming from that position or whatever color we want we can opt for it okay i hope uh, guys you have understood and uh, i hope you understood how particles are emitted from surface in maya so subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new upcoming videos click on thumbs up for like and share it with your friends if any queries write it in the comment box thank you so much for watching my video milte hain kuch aur extra tips and tricks ke sath agle video mein thank you